Hi everybody, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I cut some layers into my hair. I've been growing out my hair for like 10 years. I've talked all about my hair in multiple videos, so I won't get into all those details, but it's been a really long time since I've cut some layers in my hair. I would say like six months ago, I trimmed them just a little bit, but I've been trying to keep my hair all one length so it grows really thick and really long. With the keratin treatment that I have, my hair is just super flat, and when I don't have layers in my hair, no matter what I do, my hair just flattens out like really quickly, so I knew it was time to cut some more layers in my hair and give myself some body back, so I just wanted to take you guys through and show you what I do. It's basically the same thing that I've been doing for like five years now. I am not a professional, I've never went to school to cut my hair, but I've just had some really bad experiences getting my hair cut, and now that I finally have long hair, I will never let anyone touch it but myself. Some people may think that I'm butchering my hair, but this is how it came out, just exactly how I wanted it. I'll show you guys from the back. So it was all basically one length, and I wanted to cut like right in here to just help lift it all up. So I wanted to also curl it under so you can really see the layers. I barely cut anything off of the bottom, just kind of dusted it a little bit so it's all soft and thick and looking good. So if you guys want to learn how I cut my hair at home, please keep watching. So you want to make sure you brush out your hair and I blew out my hair right before this video so it was nice and straight and I like to cut my hair dry just so I can see where everything's going to lay and then what I like to do next is pin up my hair a little bit above my ears and this layer I like to keep all one length and the reason that I like to do this is I like to keep a really thick bottom layer and then just cut the layers on the top layer just because I like to keep it looking really thick that way I don't really need extensions if I don't want to. My biggest problem that I always noticed when I got my hair cut was they started the layers way too short so the bottom layer was just way too thin and then it would never grow past my shoulders. So it's really important to keep the bottom layer super thick and all one length so your hair can still continue to grow. So I'm just sliding down my fingers and I'm cutting off about half an inch and this is just going to really dust the ends. I have a fear of chopping off too much so a little bit goes a long way in this case. So what I always do is I just smooth the hair, slide my finger down, make sure it's all even, and then I just trim the bottom straight across. You want to make sure both sides are even, so this one was a little bit longer, so I'm just dusting off a little bit more on that end, and that's all I'm doing for this layer. We're gonna bring down another layer. This one's gonna be, I'm gonna say like two inches above your ear. That's just a, a guesstimate, but I'm just taking everything from the back, drawing a center part down the middle and bringing all my hair to the front and I'm repeating the same step. So this layer, about two inches above my ears, is all, again, gonna stay one layer. I'm just cutting it straight across and this is just to keep a really nice thick bottom layer. So once you get the whole bottom layer all one length, we can just clip it on back. So now we're going to be moving on to the top part. I'm just going to part my hair where I normally would, pull the hair to the front, and then I'm going to clip back all of the bottom layer. That way I don't accidentally cut any layers into that part. So I'm just clipping that part back and then I'm going to work with this top layer. I'm going to start by cutting straight across the longest layer that I have just to kind of make it all even because it looks pretty raggedy at this point. And then once I do that, I'm going to start cutting angles in the front of my hair and this is going to start the process of giving layers. And when you put layers in the back, you have to angle the front. That way it all kind of blends together nicely. So I'm just cutting off any excess and then I'm moving on to the front part of my hair. This is like my little bang. I never have them as bangs. They're not even that short, but I like to call it my bang piece. So I bring it just below my chin and then I'm going to start cutting all this hair off. So first I'm cutting it straight across just because I want the longest part this length. And then I'm going to grab that same piece and then start cutting up on a diagonal. So it's going to give it a little bit of an angle. 
And I'm now grabbing that same section on the opposite side with that section that I just cut and I'm bringing it all to the front and I'm cutting it in like an upwards V. That way it's gonna be even and it's gonna give both sides the same length of angles. So the next part is just grabbing pieces of hair, pulling it forward and just going down on a slant to give it a really pretty angled look. One thing you probably noticed me doing on this side of my head is I take the hair and then I flip it because when you're doing it on yourself it's kind of hard to do this one side but if you just pull it down smoothly and line it up with your fingers you can see exactly what parts you need to cut off and then you just kind of turn it around. So I'm doing that exact same thing, just grabbing pieces, making sure all the angles line up. My main technique is I just continuously grab pieces and just make sure that the bottoms are all on a nice even angle. The first time you do it, it's not going to be perfect, so just keep grabbing those same pieces to the front and you'll see how it's just going to slowly give you a really pretty angle down. Okay, so now that I have done the angles in the front, I'm going to section off the crown of my head. I'm going to leave my bangs out and then with this brush, I'm just gonna create a straight line all the way to the back of my head. And I'm just clipping back the front pieces of my hair so again, I don't cut anything that I already cut. I'm just working with section by section. So I'm taking a small front section from the back section that we're doing. I am smoothing it out and then I'm taking my fingers like a scissor and the V is going to go straight to the center of my head, drag it up and then I'm going to slide it forward a little bit and then bring it down. So it's not going to look like I'm cutting it evenly but it's kind of hard to explain what I mean but if you take your hair in between your fingers, pull it all the way up, pull it forward a little bit and let a little bit of hair come out, then that's how you know it's going to be on that straight angle. So that's what I'm doing right here and it's really hard to explain but you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So then I'm just taking the rest of that hair and you guys can split this into maybe like two or three more sections but at this point I was sweating and I just wanted to get it over with and I, I already know what I'm doing so I just took the hair and then I'm going to start going in on it and just start chopping it so it's in a nice even angle. Um, this is a lot of hair to work with at once and just so you guys know these scissors are brand new. I just opened them for this video. I got these at Walgreens. They are hair cutting scissors so they're not kitchen scissors before some of you guys start freaking out about that but they are very sharp. This is just the technique that I like to do and again just keep grabbing the pieces and making sure that they're all blending in nicely. Okay, so now I'm just taking my hair out of all the clips, bringing it all to the front, and then I'm just gonna see what I got going on, fix any little stragglers, and just make sure everything's super even. So this is the final result. I, again, just wanted to curl my hair under so you can really see the layers and see what I was going for. I love how it came out, as usual, so some may think my technique is crazy and that I don't really have a technique, but that's fine because every time I do it, I love how it comes out and yeah, 
So just cut at your own risk. Be careful if you're doing it for yourself at home. If this is your first time cutting your hair at home, I recommend taking a tiny bit off at a time as well as having someone help you because you don't want to butcher your hair and this is my disclaimer right now. In the past, I've noticed that a lot of you guys actually commented on my video saying you followed along with what I did and you love how your hair came out. So I hope this video helped for those that want to save some money and do their hair at home. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.